Hey, happy Veterans Day to all my fellow veterans that who have served are still serving. So uh, this morning I just wanted to do a quick video about the different projects I have going on here in the house and, and really kind of trying to figure out how to prioritize all the different things I have to do. Uh, and also to give you give everyone a heads up, I am about to release the video about how we uh, found and paid for and the cost for the renovation and everything. Uh, I know I've been talking about it, it's just a, it's been taking me a while and actually it's a little bit long and I've been debating should I cut it up in pieces but uh, I just reached a point where I just need to uh, send it out. Yeah, please stay tuned for that, it should be coming out in the next uh, week or less. Yeah, while I was at it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk around the house and show everyone the different projects that I have try to explain the strategy <laughs> as far as prioritizing uh, different projects that you may have around your property too. I guess what I wanted to discuss too is the way I approach when you have different projects is how do you stay on task without getting distracted and normally what I try to do is kind of pick like say two projects a an achievable one like a short-term one and a long-term one right your achievable ones you kind of need to do that so you can feel like you got a sense of accomplishment if you do all the little ones you don't get to your larger projects so and then i work on a larger project let me go ahead and walk around here the house and show you all the different projects i have going on all right folks so if you have been following us you know that uh we purchased this IKEA about a year ago, and since we did an extensive renovation, so a lot of it has been completed in there. But I still have years worth of uh, lots of uh, uh, projects that I need to do around the house here. Hi, you. What are you doing? <laughs> Keeping me straight. She's probably telling me, why are you not working? <laughs> but anyway, so uh, let me go ahead and just do a little rambling around here and talk about all the different projects I need to do. So starting with the Japanese garden, uh, I still need to fill this in with some rocks and a couple shishi odoshi water fountains and, and whatnot, get that going. Over here on my right, I have the little man cave I'm, I'm gonna get to, is eventually I need to paint the sides and I'm not sure if I'm gonna change those doors. Uh, I need to fix that siding right here and then I need to fix the rooftop over there. Let's see around here the little guest house. Yeah, eventually I want to put like a little deck around there and possibly the front of this side of the house too. But initially I thought I wanted to do that but now I'm kind of having second thoughts because I kind of like the sidewalk you know, to come around this way. As you can see right now it's, just, it's a little drizzly so um, you can see where it stays dry. So it's actually nice being able to walk right here where it's dry. So I'm not still having second thoughts about that. As we settle in the house, you know, the original ideas keep changing. Same for this right here, our little uh, outside kitchen. You know, originally, again, talking about original plans and how things change. Originally, I wanted to just remove these and kind of open it up. But we did end up opening this side right here because after we started the renovation of the house, we realized that the gas people could not make it through to deliver the gas tank so we had to remove these and the gas tanks are over there i need <laughs> talking about projects i need to pull those weeds so but now that it's just open on this side it's it's good enough uh, before it's just it was too much like a cave and now it kind of uh it's actually not that bad so at a minimum what i need to do is go ahead and at least paint the these concrete blocks uh white and then the metal, like a dark brown, and right here, and even the roof, so that it kind of emulates the side of the house. So now that's what I'm thinking about doing. Let's see, let's move around over here towards where the fire pit is gonna be. So right now we have our little temporary fire pit. We have used it several times already. It's really cool sitting out here and enjoying the fire, and then just looking out here and looking at the stars at night. It's pretty cool. That, this big uh, stone right here is full of water right now, but uh, originally I wanted to move it and relocate it over here to, to the Japanese garden, make it part of it, but it, it, one is extremely heavy, and then I have seen other ones that are not um, in the ground, and they're actually <laughs> like another foot or so deeper, and uh, that's going to be quite a heavy thing, so now I'm thinking uh, it's just 
probably making a little little water fountain right here as well because the the bugs get in there and all the little mosquitoes will start uh, creating their little nests in there starting with this rose bush that we brought from my other house probably along right here make a little rose garden so that when we're looking outside from the house we can kind of look out here and kind of enjoy that oh gosh so many different projects <laughs> like i said it's hard to stay on task down there at the garage choco and i were talking about it this morning uh, originally i wanted to put two electric garage doors on the garage but now that i have started been working on there at a minimum we are going to put one on the left but on the right side door now i'm thinking about um, adding like a big glass sliding door i'm not worried about stuff being broken into as you can see it's wide open and we've been gone for a month at a time and nothing disappears from here it's extremely safe i'm not saying by all means that there are no robbers here in japan but i'm not worried about it but uh so the reason why i want the big sliding glass door so that when i'm as you can see there are the benches over there while i'm in there i can look out i don't want to feel kind of claustrophobic mm, so i think that's where i'm going to go now and then right there where the gray car is at i'm going to put like an awning and then i would like to put a kind of another sliding door right there so that under the awning you could come in and out and it kind of serves as an extension oh boy let's see now looking around need to get to pruning some more of the trees so way in the back over there we have the kiwi tree and the trellis is a little low uh probably made for the gentleman that lived here before i, I have no idea he was probably five five or something it's a little low so i kind of need to elevate it right here on the side of the mountain again we call this the mountain because for the title that's what it's called the mountain when i'm doing weed eating especially during the summer it's quite bad uh i'm sliding and falling down and whatnot so all along here i need to make like different steps um so that i can kind of maneuver around a little bit easier and then also nice steps going up so that when we go up to where the chestnut trees are at a little bit easier and then let me go ahead and make it to the backyard from here so as i'm walking right here this we need to turn it into a path so i need to remove this bush and a couple more bushes over there and then probably put on a little little metal fence right here kind of the see-through type uh, so that you don't accidentally fall over just to make it look nicer and it's kind of make this again make a little uh, path with uh, little crushed rocks and make it a little easier to get to the back so as you can see i'm kind of maneuvering right now through the these bushes but when we first moved in here you could not even heck you could even see this side because see all these bushes are way overgrown and originally i was thinking about pulling them out and then i started thinking as well they probably serve as erosion control so now at a minimum i need to keep them uh nicely pruned i'm, pr I'm pretty sure the azaleas the neighbor she was saying that uh they enjoyed seeing them every year so we kind of felt a little guilty about that too <laughs> but they were like way 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 overgrown and uh, uh all the kuzu was growing over them all right more projects over over here in the backyard so this is what we call the lower backyard you see all bunch of bunch of stones from the original house so originally the old house i don't know when it was built in probably 1800s or early 1900s who knows uh, there used to be a house right here so you can still see some of the foundation the original rocks so gosh i'm not sure if i'm just gonna go ahead and grab these rocks and move them somewhere or just kind of have someone come over here and um fill it up with uh, uh topsoil probably a couple feet high and then eventually i want to make this a nice little grassy area kind of like a little soccer field <laughs> yeah again another project to do and part of this video here is so that folks can tell me that i'm crazy and change my mind <laughs> or give me some encouragement i'm not quite sure what 
the purpose of this was before by the back side of the house but what I'm going to start doing soon is raise this maybe another another lit brick layer high remove a lot of these rocks and fill it in and maze like make like a raised garden so right now if I put one more layer it'll come up to about my waist so use it as a raised garden and then I was thinking kind of use this uh, stone wall as a shelter so over it build like a little awning or canopy thing so, uh, the sun in here is it's 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 quite strong then also kind of protect it from the elements and the the crows and everything so I'm not sure if it would be like the see-through um, uh, roofing or just mesh or I'm not quite sure yet so I'm open to recommendations these steps kind of turn them into a nicer steps again. I mean, I, I, I do manage to get up there, but it's kind of like stumbling all over. And then again, utilize this part right here. I think it'd make a really nice raised bed. What do y'all think? Please let me know. I really don't want to cut down trees, but I also need to cut down trees that serve no purpose and um, that interfere with these plans. So, this is Biwa. I'm not quite sure what it's called in English. It did not produce any fruit last year. Oh, but I see it's uh, something is going on there. But uh, I don't really don't like it. So um, I'm still debating if these are going to stay or they're going to go. They're kind of tucked away, out of the way. But again, I need to remove this. This is a peach tree. They're not giving any peaches this year. I really, really hate cutting down the peach tree. And this, uh, this strange thing, every year only gives one fruit. Uh, I'm not sure what it was called again. We have plums, Japanese plum, and I have plenty all over the, all over the, all over the property. So I really don't need those. These kind of evergreen trees are nice. This whole area, I want to turn it into a nice little grassy area. And so this is kind of like the public path. If you look all the way down that way, that's where people actually live. not all the time but once or twice a day there's someone walking up down this way and it's a whole lot better than it was before but i kind of feel bad because you know as you can see it's kind of a tripping hazard and a lot of them are old ladies quite frankly that are walking up this way like this morning there was an old lady kind of shuffling up this way and i feel bad because i kind of feel responsible for it you see a lot of the dirt and dirt and rocks have fallen down so i need to um, scoop all this up and uh, i don't know maybe flatten it over here i think about getting some crushed rocks and just kind of feel this whole side but then my concern is that they're going to keep falling so i'd have to put some kind of little barrier there to keep them from falling but again it's a whole lot better than it was before but that's no excuse I do have a self-propelled lawnmower that is coming from the States along with some of my property that's coming from the States. To use it properly next year, I need to kind of even out all these rocks right here. So and then they got these, these uh, old roofing stuff someone put right there. Look at all these cool little flowers. <laughs> the one cool thing about it is it seems like every month there's a different season as far as different vegetation so right now you got all these little uh so it's a weed i'm pretty sure but it looks pretty at a distance and then over there yeah so every month something different seems to sprout and our neighbors they've been working on their their gardens so getting ready for the well actually they've been planting already really cool watching all this going on I need to remove a couple of trees, but also want to add a couple more. That's the reason why I want to remove some. And I want more fruit that we actually use, kind of keep. So the point is to kind of keep the upper backyard kind of like our orchard. And then down there, kind of like a little playground area. And then over there on the far left is where the, the chestnut trees are at. And way down there by the garage is where the kiwi 
and other uh, figs and stuff like that are at. Yeah, so it's, uh, like I said, it's Veterans Day today and it's not cold, but it's rainy and look at the clouds, really cool. Right now it's about, I don't know, 11 a.m. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. All right, folks, so to fellow veterans, thank you for your service. Uh, anyone who's willing to volunteer, especially right now, these times, crazy times in the world, it seems. I'm a little, little bit on the older side now. So all you young ones, thank you for volunteering and hanging in there. Be safe. Continue serving with pride no matter what. There's a lot of, a lot of nonsense going on in the world right now enough yapping away and now i need to get to work all right folks uh, if you like what you see please hit subscribe like and share and again the video is coming out soon i wanted to say that and also apologize that it's gonna be so long all right folks have a great day thanks bye